Today I'm going to share with you some useful info on the induction cooktop, its features, uses and advantages over gas stove. In the recent years, induction cooktop has become very popular because of its convenience and benefits. It works on the principle of magnetic induction and because of which very high heating rate is achieved. And because of the nature of heating, not all uh, vessels can be used on it. Only ferromagnetic metals like cast iron or stainless steel can be used. The base has to be flat and it cannot be convex or concave. The minimum and maximum diameter of the cookware is specified by the manufacturer depending on the size of the cooktop. Now I'm going to explain the features of the uh, induction cooktop which I have. This is a model Prestige PIC 3.0. There are numerous other models available in the market. Induction tops have glass ceramic tops which are easy to clean and maintain. Most induction tops have concealed soft touch buttons which prevent entry of water inside. All you need to operate an induction cooktop is a power supply with a 15 amp power socket. Now I am switching on. This is the on off button. Now I will show the uh, various uh, features available. So this is the menu. Because the heating is through magnetic induction, the induction cooktop can detect whether any vessel is placed or not. There is no vessel in this now, so it is beeping. So this feature will automatically turn off the cooktop when the vessel is removed or there is no vessel found. So it will now just go off. And you can hear a fan sound, there is a cooling fan provided. This makes a noise and it stops after some time and it switches off. Now I'll show the menu and the various cooking options available. And uh, before that I will keep a cookware on top or else it will make noise and it will switch off. Now this is the menu. Straight away it goes to the highest power. This is the, the first cooking option is hot pot. This is the most common mode used for all kinds of cooking. The power can be increased or decreased. Up to 100, maximum will be 2000. When you need to adjust timer, press the timer button. Timing increases in steps of 5 minutes. Press the cancel button to cancel set timing. The next option, you keep pressing the menu button for going to the next option. The next will be the fry option. This is applicable for high temperature cooking like frying and deep frying. And the temperature and timing both can be adjust, adjusted in the fry mode to suit your style of cooking when it is in operation. So this is mainly for frying. You can see the temperature here. This is 240. You can go down. Up to 80. Now, next option is porridge. You can make porridge or soup in this. Then there's a steam option, which is uh, default is for 10 minutes. If you want, you can increase the timing. Next is the heating milk option. This is for uh, reheating milk, not for boiling milk, because the induction cooktop will warm the milk with small heat power. Here, the power will be the lowest. So, you can just use it for reheating milk. If you want to boil milk, you can do it in the hot pot option. There is one more uh, feature here, it is a preset. This preset button will allow you to preset the time of your uh, cooking. If you want to cook it, say after half an hour or one hour or one and a half hours, up to 24 hours you can set it, just like you have in washing machine. Now this is in the cook quick fry, uh, this is in the fry mode. This, this quick fry option works only when the induction is in the fry mode. So when the quick fry option is selected, the power increases to 2200 watts and it will remain to fry status in 3 minutes. After that, you can start frying things in this. Since the heating is flame free, only the bottom of the vessel gets heated because of which energy efficiency is very high. It is estimated that the induction cooktops have an efficiency of 84% and gas towers have an efficiency of 72%. This means that we can lift the vessel directly by hand after cooking. See I can lift it, it's not hot, I can lift it from here also. It's not hot, I can, I mean, it's easily, only the bottom is hot. Now I will show you a few induction cookware. This is a tawa, induction based tawa. It is like this. Most of these come like this. 
So you even get uh, induction kadai and induction cooker. This is actually an induction kadai cooker which I used. This is an induction uh, tawa. You get induction kadai is another uh, cookware as well, which is specially for induction uh, cooktop, which can also be used on the gas stove. I have a few more which I'll show you now. Other than non-stick kadais, you even get steel kadais like these which are induction friendly. You can see it is written induction friendly. It can be used on both the induction as well as gas top. Yeah, it's very thick bottomed and it is flat. Other than this, any other stainless steel vessel you have at home which is flat based can be used on the induction. Like these. You can even use... Uh, Idli, idli uh, steamer which is flat based you can cook uh, steam idlis in 10 minutes you can make uh, dough class in these and anything any other steaming of vegetables because the base is flat this is also can be this also can be used on your induction cooktop i'd like to show a few vessels which cannot be kept on the induction cooktop because it is convex and vessels like these, they appear to be flat when you keep it looks flat, but they are also convex, so they cannot be used on the induction cooktop. I like to boil half a liter of milk here, which I'll show you using the induction cooktop. I select the menu, it is in hot pot, highest power, so I reduce it. It's like making a high or sim in a, in a gas. You can even set time. It will take hardly 5-6 minutes. So I keep 5 minutes. If I increase the time, then I have to be present here and manually uh, observe it. So 10 minutes might be more. So I can I cannot reduce the timing. So I have to cancel it. When I cancel, the light here goes off. So I will keep 5 minutes here. Anyway, if I am going to be nearby, then I can as well increase the power. You can see that this is also a normal uh, stainless steel flat bottom vessel. It's not specially uh, an induction uh, friendly uh, cookware. It's just a normal vessel which I use daily at home. You can see that uh, the display shuttles between the power and the time. So now 2 minutes is left. If you feel it is going to boil, like you can reduce the power. When the 5 minutes is over, it will automatically switch off unless you increase the time. I had to switch off because it had already boiled. You can see that I can lift the vessel as it is though it's very hot. But it is not a hot outside. It's only hot in the bottom. Because the vessel is heated only in the bottom. Because the heat comes from here. 